All right, welcome for our to our segment about acquiring happiness. Today we're going to talk about trabajo, work. If you calculate the amount of time in our lifespan that we dedicate to work, it's going to be anywhere between 20 to 15 years of our life. <coughs> dedicated to work. It's a crazy amount of time. I mean, I'm talking about a 24-hour span of 15 hours, 15 years to 20 years straight, which is a it's a it's a it's a huge chunk of your life. And uh, since it's such a big chunk of our life, we need to make sure that we spend our time there while we're happy. Many research have shown that the secret to happiness at work is not and uh, what are we doing in our work, but rather how do we feel about our work. Remember the guy from last time that I told you he was a millionaire, billionaire? So let's say you build your house and you build your pool and you build your private screening room and you're driving your, I don't know, Mercedes and you're driving your whatever and so on and so forth and you all of a sudden realize that you're alone. Why? Because every day you go out from, your, from the gate of your house to your car from your car to the underground parking lot that you have, to the elevator, to your CEO office in the corner, and you close the door, and you are all alone. You're very important, but you're lonely. So, therefore, I give you quickly a few questions for you that you should ask yourself in order to be able to determine how do you feel about your work and is our work really meaningful to our lives? Okay, very important. And that will, by the way, determine a lot for you guys who go to college, uh, what job should I pick? Guys, you're making the worst mistakes when you're going to college and you're picking degrees the way you pick your degrees. You're making crucial mistakes about your lives. And now you've got to ask yourself this question. Question number one, am I working for the money? The only reason I'm working is for the money. Am I working for the money? Do every day that I go to work, I think about my retirement, even if it's 40 years from now. Or about the day that I will retire that I will be able to do. Question number three, when I go to work, do I feel like the clock is not moving? Tick, tock, tick, tock. Question number four, does my work seem to me meaningless and not important? In other words, do I make a difference in my life, in, when I go to work in people's lives, do I make a difference? Is it important that I'll be in my work? Do people appreciate me in my work? One of the greatest burnouts of people in work is not being appreciated, regardless of what you do. You could be a, a I don't know, a top gun. Take my breath away, you know? And you feel imp unimportant, you feel unappreciated. You're not gonna make it. You're gonna jump. When you say, oh my goodness, it's already, wow, it's a good sign. How do you feel at work? When you go to work, how does it feel to you? If you get all your answers, for example, am I working for money? Yes. Uh, do I think about vacation and retirement? Yes. Uh, do I feel that the time is, doesn't move so much when I go to work? Yes. Uh, is uh, my work seem meaningless and not important? Yes. I'm not, uh, am I uh, feel unappreciated? Yes. You have a problem. Answer the questions. Evaluate your work. And remember, your job does not define who you are. If you are claiming to define yourself by the job that you do, you are 
doomed. I know someone who has his claim to his claim to fame is that you know I used to run a department. Are you a lousy human being? I used to run a department. He has nothing in his life. He has a lot of money. Nothing, nada in his life. I was, I was, I was. If you define, again, if you define yourself by the job that you do, or by your title that you do, you have a problem. Oh, I'm a doctor. People cannot say, my name is, you know, so-and-so. My name is doctor. You're sending somebody a text. Hi, this is doctor. You're not my doctor. You're my friend. But why you call yourself doctor? What's the problem? Means you're a very insecure, unhappy person that has nothing else in his life. The more titles you need, the less you have in yourself, the less you have in your life. If a person comes and introduces himself, oh, I am so-and-so, and he might have a title like a tidal wave, well, you know that there's probably some substance in this person. The more titles you have, the more titles you need, the less substance is inside of you. Your job does not define who you are. You define who you are. So instead of investing and being so mesmerized in your job, invest in yourself and have a great day.